Once you navigate to the EdCop Marketplace, you'll be presented with the currently deployed capabilities. Here we have two capabilities deployed, Elasticsearch and Kibana. At the top of the page, you'll have two possible links, your deployed capabilities, showing your currently deployed capabilities, which is what we're seeing now, and the available capabilities. To deploy a new capability or new application, you can click on the Deploy New App button in the upper right-hand corner. From the Available Capabilities page, you'll see a number of capabilities or applications you can deploy. We've taken care to make sure that these products work out of the box. Since this is a DCO platform, our initial offering of applications are focused on defensive cyber operations. We'll start with Suricata, an open source IPS or IDS that can be deployed inline or in passive mode. After choosing a capability, you're presented with that tool's configuration guide. This is where you can learn about the pre-deployment configurable options and resource tuning for specific hardware platforms. If you just want to use the defaults, you can click in the Deploy Using Helm button in the upper right-hand corner. When deploying a new application, give it a unique name. We will be leaving the version and namespace unchanged. Below are the configuration values that will be overlaid on top of the Helm template. Here we are verifying our two network interfaces are set to inline. We can change the deployment method from inline to passive by simply changing the values here. Further down, we are also verifying our home nets, which are our trusted networks, and external net, which is our untrusted networks. Once configuration review is complete, click the blue Submit button below. Clicking Submit will queue up a job and begin deploying your new application. Now we'll move over to Cockpit and see our deployment. Cockpit is a health and management dashboard for your Kubernetes cluster. Here you can view resource utilization of individual nodes, the topology of your cluster, and more. Here we're showing the cluster topology view. This is not a representation of your network's topology. Instead, it is a relational view of the different components that make up your cluster. Using the key to the right, you can distinguish between pods, services, and nodes. First, I'm hovering over the nodes. The pop-ups gives us the na host names given to each node. Here we have six nodes, one master and five minions. Our master is using the host name physical.edcop.io. Next, I'll follow around and show the pods we just deployed. Each pod contains the Suricata container instances. The host name shown as we hover over the pod is randomly generated host name chosen by Helm at the time of deployment. As you can see, the Suricata capability was only deployed to our minions and not the master. Now we'll move over to the dashboard, which gives us a quick look of the resource utilization across the cluster. Here we can see in the timeline the bump in utilization from when we deployed our new capability. This view is important to make sure that you don't have any runaway processes or a runaway host with increased utilization. We'll make our way back to the EdCop marketplace so we can deploy another application. Here we are going to begin the Bro deployment process. The EdCop Bro guide gives you a quick overview of some of the tunable options that can be set. Some of the configurable options are the network configuration, your persistent storage, selecting the type of node to deploy to, and resource tuning for CPU and memory. You can, from this screen, deploy using the defaults already set by clicking the Deploy Using Helm button at the top, giving it a name, and clicking Submit. Kubernetes will begin deploying Bro according to the configuration values in the Helm template. While Kubernetes is deploying Bro, we can move over to the cockpit and take a look at the topology layout. This is where your cluster looks and moves like a living organism. As we hover over the various pods, we see they are bro pods and have been deployed to all nodes except for the master. Looking at the dashboard, we see the live resource utilization during the deployment of bro. We also have begun sending traffic through the cluster, which is noticed here by the increased utilization. In our example deployment, you can view Kibana by visiting apps.physical.edcop.io forward slash Kibana. Kibana can be used to visualize your data. Here you can build custom dashboards or see the raw log data and query it. First we will look at the Discover tab. Here is where you can see the raw log entries. The graph along the top displays the total number of events related to your query over a period of time. In this case we're seeing a representation of all events since we just started running simulated traffic through the cluster. Clicking the arrow next to an event will expose the categorized elements within that single event. At the top, you can enter a search query and see the results in the table below. 
In this case, we're searching for CNN. We can click the arrow next to a single event to get more details about that specific log entry. Let's do another query, this time for www.cisco.com. Again, we can drill into the results below. For this short demo, we'll be looking at a simple speedometer dashboard. This dashboard is taking the bytes in from bro log data and summing it over the period of one minute, giving you gigabytes per minute. 